guys um i know this would be the first time i ever did it for this show but uh this show deserves to have a review outside of our boy zip block <laughs> no offense zip uh but um episode six the walking dead has come to an end season one is over uh, yes, it was a short season, uh, but next season, season two, we'll have 13 episodes. Uh, can't wait to that. Um, episode six, titled TS-19, uh, picks up right where the the last episode, Wildfire, left off. Uh, Dr. Jenner uh, lets the group Rick and the gang in. Um and he explains to them, you know, the process of what happens to a human uh, when they they get bit or whatever from one of the Walking Dead. Uh, the, the the brain pattern dies out, everything dies, and uh, next thing you know, just a certain amount of your cerebral cortex, your brain, is functioning, but you're pretty much a mindless hus, which basically is a zombie. Uh uh the gang is enjoying you know the fruits of their labor you know hot water you know hot water is a a big key tidbit in um this series you know they're all enjoying it at at some point not everybody uh uh andrea for example is not really enjoying it you know she's very upset you know because she just lost her sister she was the one that killed her sister uh but also because she's starting to lose hope you know, of, you know, are we the only ones out there? Is anybody else, you know, uh, still trying to find, you know, hope? Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the gangs, you know, having a good time, you know, uh, Dr. Jenner, it seems like he's, he's, you know, he's all up and up, you know, but we start to see a little bit later on his down spiral. Uh, however, even in between this, we see, that uh Shane you know drunk or not he he has feelings for uh Lori you know Rick's wife and Lori still is upset at him because Shane explains a little bit more of you know everything like Lori saying you know you you told me my husband was dead Rick was dead and you know uh Shane says you know I thought he was dead you know he you know, he was there at the hospital before the hospital got overrun, everything like that. He stayed with him. You know, he said he even put his, his uh, head to Rick's chest to see if a heartbeat was there. You know, uh, he's trying to, you know, he's forcing himself on Lori, you know, trying to rekindle that, that relationship they had. Uh, and almost to the point where Shane nearly, uh, Shane nearly rapes Lori. Uh and she's able to push him away by scratching him. And he basically leaves out of anger. Uh, from there, we also get to see more of the group trying to figure out what's going on. And then, you know, uh, they start to figure out, okay, what's with the timer? I forgot um, one of the other survivors asks, what's with the timer? Um... Dale, excuse me, uh, Dale asks Dr. Jenner, what's with the timer? And then he explains that basically uh, all the power is going to shut down and everything like that. And later on, we start to see that the power supply starts to shut down to uh, and the group starts panicking. Basically, you know, the gang starts panicking, you know, looking for ways to keep the electricity when the basically dr jenner pretty much locks them in 
uh, and basically what's going to happen is the building is going to explode to basically Jenner tells them that they're the C CDC and they have all these highly contaminants like smallpox and Ebola and all these other things so basically the, the computer and everything is going to explode and kill off these before they spread um but Rick and the gang do don't want to die, you know. And even Jenna tries to tells him that, that you even said to me, Rick, I don't I don't think Rick was really in his right head. He was drunk at the time. He told Jenna like there were times he felt like giving up, things like that. Uh but uh Rick convinces, you know, Jenna to let them out. And Jenna opens the door. Um and right before they're about to leave, uh, Jenner whispers something in Rick's ear. That was something key right there in this episode. He whispers something key in this episode. But also before that, we find out that Jenner is not the main head scientist. His wife was. His wife was like the brilliant, the brains of the gang. Uh, his wife was the subject was that he killed that they watched what happens the image of the brain that they were showing was his wife before they put a he put a bullet in her before she really changed but what Jenner said to him really showed something that you know uh really indicated something grim f maybe in the f f future because you know, Rick really the look on Rick's face really like sold it. You you really have to look at his face and you see that something really bothered Rick that whatever Jenner told him that bothered him. But even then when they were about to leave, one of the members, uh Jaquiel, um, she decided to stay. You know, she was like she stayed no matter what they tried to do, you know. She was going to stay. She made up her mind. She was. She pretty much gave up hope, if, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, she gave up hope. She felt, you know what? I don't want to end up like, you know, the rest of the people, you know, Jim and everybody like that who have died in the past. So she stayed. And Andrea also, she chose, she chose her fate. She was going to stay as well. And they were going to die in the explosion. Um... But Dale, Dale wouldn't give up on Andrea. You know, he 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 said before he looked at Andrea and her and her sister as the, as her own daughters, as his own daughters, and he cared about her. And he pretty much said, "All right, if you're gonna stay, I'm gonna stay." And uh, we thought that was gonna be three three uh, survivors. Three of the members from the survivors were going to die. Um, outside, uh, they get out. Rick and them get out into the, where they're the opening, but they can't get out. The The glass is pretty bulletproof. You know, they're, they're hitting it with chairs. They're trying to hit it with axes. Shane even pops a, pops a few uh, shotgun pellets in it. Nothing. Then one of the... Uh, then, uh, however... Uh, I'm forgetting the, the, one of the, the women, she, she said, Rick, remember when I said I found something when I was washing your clothes, pulls out a hand grenade, um, Rick releases it, plants it and nearly escapes being blown up, glass breaks, they're outside and, uh, they're able to escape the explosion, the group leaves safely uh, and then even then they're waiting and waiting. And then all of a sudden we see Dale and Andrea come out. Andrea there come out and boom, explosion. Uh, from there, uh, the episode ends. You see the group driving off. And uh, that was it. Uh, pretty decent episode. Very good. You know, all around. The Walking Dead, all six episodes were spectacular. Um, if you're not on board with this show, you better be on board. Um, I will pre-order this 
for the first season. Uh, when it comes on DVD, I will get it. Um, so I'm definitely going to get that. Uh, can't wait to season two, you know. It, you know, uh, though we hear they were having some problems, you know, all the, the writers were fired. But uh, everything is going to be well. Um, but like I said, all six episodes were spectacular. Um, even though I didn't do a review on the other episodes, but I had to do one on this, this season finale, season one finale. And I got to admit, this has been very good. Slight changes, like Zip said, you know, throughout the whole series. But you don't you don't mind, especially if you follow the, the comic and stuff like that. But uh, overall, this was very good. Now we just got to see what the future holds for the group. You know, where are they going to go next? You know, are they going to leave Atlanta? You know, are they going to leave Georgia, period, and head off somewhere else? You know, how is Rick going to keep the group strong and alive? Will we see, you know, um, the rest of the gang, you know, um, other survivors that Rick has met over the over the first six uh, episodes? Will we see, you know, supposedly Morgan, Morgan and Dwayne are supposed to come back. I'm so they have to come back you know um you know will we see uh will we see basically uh any more survivors you know where it's it's just a matter it's just it just brings up a lot of what's w's like what what's going to happen next you know how is season 2 going to top season 1 and season two has seven more episodes than season one has. So right there is like, okay, we need to deliver. And uh, it's all a matter of time. Just what is this going to hold for the future? Um, that's just all I can say about it. Uh, but overall, very good episode. I loved it. Um, and uh, you guys tell me what you thought about uh Season 1, Episode 6, you know, just overall of The Walking Dead. And uh, this is Mount Vernon Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned. You guys, take it easy.